afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, and welcome aboard the Exbury Garden Steam Railway. Now we're just going into the railway's own garden now, the Summer Lane Garden. That's in the bottom right-hand corner of your maps. And uh, this was a garden built especially for the railway when we first opened, eight years ago, and you can only see it from the train. It's designed to flower all through the year, it's well underway now, but you won't find any rhododendrons or azaleas. We're going to go over a bridge, through a long, dark tunnel, under the bridge, and then between two ponds. All the way round you'll see lots of little animals, but when we get to the ponds, watch out for the crocodiles. After that, we go along the top of the rock garden, you get probably the best view of all from the train. It's an early flowering garden and it's in full flower at the moment, absolutely beautiful. Lots of blue rhododendrons and the pearies have all got their bright uh, red shoots, so it's quite a picture there. It was built in the 1930s, enormous rocks were brought in from Pembrokeshire and it's believed to be the largest rock garden in Europe over the viaduct and up to the North Lake where our regular passengers, I must apologise, we won't see the Lake Moss Monster. I'm told it's on holiday visiting a relative in Scotland but I think it's probably being repaired. It's been in the water too long, it's got a sore bottom. And uh, it will be back soon. Then we go past the oldest tree in the garden, the Doomsday Yew, completely hollow and with a hole right through it that's big enough for the children to get inside. So look out for that one. Then at Exbury North Station we'll stop for a few minutes and I'll tell you a bit more.